Disney on Ice is bringing the magic closer to fans than ever before as they present Mickey's search party. This all new show is at the Giant Center for three more days and uses state of the art technology to help captivate the audience. Fox 43's Linda Weed is live inside the Giant Center with a very close look at the show. Good morning, Linda. You've been having so much fun. It really has been one of the best mornings ever for me, and that is because I am absolutely obsessed with all things Disney. And you know what you said? That we were bringing you inside the Giant Center, but I've taken it one step further by actually taking you right onto the ice to see some of the props that are used during this show here, uh, the Disney on Ice show that is happening this weekend at the Giant Center. And we have some of the uh, props that you may actually recognize from some of your favorite Disney movies. This one here seems to be the most iconic. I think we'll give it a little rub, see if I can get three wishes. Maybe I'll win the lottery. Maybe I'll get a genie. <laughs> We're going to turn to Daniel now, though. Uh, and Daniel's going to tell us a little bit about some of the things you'll see right here behind us. We'll start with some of the other props right here behind us from uh, Little Mermaid to Coco. Yep, so these are just a few of the props that we've got. We have many, many props th throughout the show. Uh, the big toy blocks, obviously, is from Toy Story, so that's uh, featured within the Toy Story segment. Um, as you said, Aladdin's lamp, you know, the genie comes out of that. There's a magical moment of that with where we include the audience with that. Uh, we have audience participation in the Aladdin section. Tinkerbell's wand, which is what we're looking for. So we try and keep hold of it, but those pirates keep grabbing it and taking it away. <laughs> like I said, so many different props. We have Frozen, Frozen and Little Mermaid and Coco, as you can see with the big big guy behind me we've got a, a big cocoa section here yeah that, that is a big very large guy we'll get to him in just one second um but before we get there these props why are they so important to the show in addition to the amazing skating that is happening on the ice i feel like the props just give us an extra level of performance you know you'll see miguel he'll walk through the stands playing his guitar like like I said, there's so much audience participation, even with the characters that come in through the step, like through the arena. We've never had that before, so we're really lucky to have that here. And some of the things you're doing, you talked about bringing them into the audience, and you have that state of the uh, state of the art equipment that we've been showing you all morning. Uh, what? kind of different level does it bring to the show to be able to use all this technology? It's a whole new thing. We've never experienced projection like we have. You know, the whole arena becomes a projection. It's a screen that we use. So it's a whole extra level of performance that we get to give just from a, a simple thing as a projection. And with Coco right here behind us uh, for the movie, uh, Coco, I should say, and then Miguel. This is Miguel's big first uh, appearance for Disney on Ice. Yeah, this is the first show that has a whole section dedicated to Coco. It's a great section. The audience really love it, and we love performing it. It's a really, really fun section. And Daniel's going to go a little scoot with me. If I fall on the ice, little scoots. I'm told that you don't want to take big steps. Little scooches. Ooh, almost down. I saved myself. That's not making memorable moments, guys. <laughs> Part of the show is actually uh, a merit. A marionette? Marionette. Is that? marionette. Marionette. Learn something new every day. Uh, and they actually use these, and they can kind of wave at the audience I'm told so guys I'm giving you a wave back at the studio you definitely want to come out and see Disney on ice tonight tomorrow Sunday afternoon as well uh, all those tickets and all those times and how you can purchase them are on our website that's fox43.com and you're going to want to go and get those tickets because I'm told they even start as low as just $15 so uh, there's something for everyone here at Disney on Ice and you are going to want to help them find Tinkerbell's wand and uh, put Captain Hook in his place. <laughs> a lot of fun here at the Giant Center this weekend. Again all this information and you can see these clips again on fox43.com. We're live in Hershey, Linda Weed, Fox 43 News.